my channel my name is Iva Marumo if you are new here welcome don't forget to press the subscribe button and click on the bell next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my uploads but if it's not your first time joining me welcome don't forget to subscribe and please follow me on Instagram I'm Eva Maruma as well. So guys, in this channel, we do Wuzana entertainment news, Wuzana breaking news, and we also do vlogging. So today, you guys, one thing you know about me, or you, you should know about me, is that I can't do my politiki. I can't do anything associated with the politicians because I feel like these guys would tell tomorrow they are in this side and the next day they are the side you know so we don't really know where they stand that's why i don't really love my politic i don't really trust them so yeah let's go ahead but it's not about me i guess it's all about you guys if something is really concerning and it concerns our lives like covid and everything i think these guys should be serious according to me anyway so this morning you guys carrelelo banks kinti this guy had to get communication Manjara wa Botswana Democratic Party BDP or the ruling party in BWO, you guys. So this morning he did post this, which I feel like it wasn't necessary for him to say, but he did actually go ahead and said it. So I'm going to go ahead and read this, then read what the Tapelo Gorapeti did say about the issue. You guys, I'm not biased. Let's again get some more show, but I do love what is honest, what I see as good. It's just because somebody will you know, you know, you know what I mean, right? But at the end of the day, let me go ahead and read this, okay? So it's it says, so how about the Please spare me, you guys. <laughs> Let's go ahead and read this. It says, Bazana are by a large extent humble, respectful, and obedient nation who listens who listens to their government. Some of the challenges we face today regarding obeying of COVID-19 protocols are direct consequences of the words used by some opposition MPs in parliament, including leader of opposition. They said there's no corona in Botswana. Corona is an excuse by BDP to eat money. Corona We are bringing five guns to kill a chicken. Very, very unfortunate. Oh, guys. Don't. <laughs> From some lawmakers on the other aisle. As Morocco once put, the BDP led government would continue with all its mighty with limited resources to fight COVID 19 and preserve lives. We thank all Botswana who continue to observe the me all measures in place to combat the spread, be, be a part. A great leader once said, We know how to bring the economy back to life. What we don't know is how to bring people back to life. And that is what Kahelolo Banks Bainze actually did say, you guys, which of course I feel like right now remove my them for you guys to be pointing fingers to say you said it is, I said it is. Ululu, ululu. I don't think this should be happening right now. Right now we should be using our brains to say how can we actually more especially when you are on the leading side, okay? I think this was really, really not necessary. Anyway, I think let's go ahead and read what the Tapelo Gorapeti did say. Okay, so the Tapelo Gorapeti, but mommy, I'll just stand up and It's the Tapelo Gorapeti, you guys. So, and then he said, no time for jokes and lies. Start the vaccine rollout, Gorapeti. We've no times for jokes and lies. The BDP government must tell us when the vaccine will be here. That at some point in time there was no corona here can be disputed. That COVID-19 was used to steal is well known. DCEC said they are investigating 40 plus reports. Two BDP mayors allocated themselves tenders in councils they are running. Direct appointment in tenders has wasted hundreds of millions in corruption. It was during Corona War that the president allocated himself a state farm. 
right? Yeah. It was during the time when COVID-19 cases were low and the virus not as deadly as it is today in BW that money, time and other scarce resources were wasted unnecessarily. Lockdown and restriction were restrictions were put in place. I agree with him here. Sometimes kai prale ne gola unnecessary that one is very very true. It wasn't unnecessary ka prale to do the lockdown and all that but right now it's very very necessary. Get me clear. I'm not siding with him. I'm stating the facts. <laughs> okay. So the BDP government and its functionaries are just reacting to a high number of positive cases and death of high profile people, including their senior politicians. They have been silent and haven't not been serious when COVID was affecting and killing ordinary people. Trust me, I agree with him. Okay, yeah, I agree with them. From Pyogwan, they are so shocked. Everything is like fast. But Billy Billy Hale and the Wee Swell away, valuable Malibu Mamba ordinary. They were just relaxed. This time around, I do agree with this guy like 100%. So we are unfazed by broad propaganda and Okay, okay, I'll write it. You'll read it for yourself that we uttered irresponsible statement is a lie we've been the best ideas in the opposition marker we always had and the government is always playing catch up we've encouraged people to wear masks sanitize wash their hands social distance and observe all health protocols this was said in parliament quarter meeting social media and other media platforms right we've asked the procurement of high care beds ventilation and maximum possible preparedness of the rundown healthcare system we the udc we've said prepare now for the worst when you've time and resources before parliament adjourned Juan Taolo lucas ask about the vaccine preparedness so stop nonsense and tell us when the vaccine will arrive and how many ventilators ventilators high care beds and health improvements you've made since we allocated billions of COVID-19, you can't hide your failure to prepare for such. Which we warn you would come by lying. Why are there only two ventilators in the Soya Tebe Hospital in Mawu and one in theater at Pigue Hospital? Why are most Botswana health facilities without high care beds and few or zero and often no trained high care staff? Why has Morocco, Mauritius and Morocco started vaccinating their people before us? We spent more per capita in health than Mauritius. Why are some poor countries like Myanmar you know, vaccinating their people before the so-called upper middle income economy? To be honest, answer your fail to give. The honest answer you fail to give is that they blend better than you. Don't sanitize yourself with us, Mr. Banks, and your fellow dom cops. All right, you guys. That was that. But at the end of the day, I agree with some of the things that he said, even though I don't agree with some that he said. But at the end of the day, I feel like, yes, April, we wasted a lot of things that we shouldn't have wasted. Right now, ah. It's coming back to bite us. But at the end of the day, we move, right? So this morning, the president of the Republic of Botswana did say that he's leaving to... Oh, the other topic, I decided, I, I forgot to tell you that now we've moved from the Tabelikyo Rapids and Kagalelo Banks Kansas issue. Now we are moving to the other issue, right? So this morning, the president of Botswana did announce that he's leaving for Namibia. So... I'll play this clip so that we get to see what he said he's going to do 
in Namibia and I'll read what Botswana Patriotic Front, BPF, the party that was led by, that is led by the former president of the Republic of Botswana, Lieutenant General Slotoyen Kama, Kama said the party released a media statement. So I'm going to go ahead and read it after you guys watch this clip, yeah, President Dalai. Yeah, Michael <laughs> Re <laughs> Okay, so this is the, the, the statement that was sent by BPF, right? But on a patriotic front, and it reads Such a shame by Mr. President. We note yet another history historic low point in the Masisi presidency. Okay. It says, President Masisi released a video this morning in which he tells the nation he's indulging on yet another escape to Namibia to see his friend, President you uh -huh. sorry i'm going back to the back is what i've got namibians here so they're going to kill me for not pronouncing the name of their president correctly but i'm sorry you guys <laughs> i i don't know let me just skip it i'll write it here so that you guys can actually go ahead and read it <laughs> president masisi need to learn to act and speak presidentially. He is not just another citizen who can speak of creating fake Facebook accounts to attack opponent. It's reckless and uh -huh. speak. He has a tendency to get too excited. This is reckless and not presidential in the middle of the surge in COVID-19 cases. At some point, he had to drive himself and COVID-19 head office of the president as a result of his recklessness. Hmm? He had to drive himself like all the, 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 the drivers were actually out because of the, the time in the hotel office right i think that, that that's what they are saying okay okay this president needs to seriously introspect he is if he's to be taken seriously by stakeholders his fr his friendship with president of namibia is not a state business and it's not worth twisting our COVID-19 preparedness over. He ought to know that any other reason he advances for this trip are drawn by his friendship talk. Okay, that means but whatever the important thing that he said he's going to do in Namibia is actually now covered by the fact that he only firstly he said he's going to go and see his friend to 
strengthen the friendship that's what he said in the clip so yeah but now it has covered that so let's go ahead and say this the president is reckless in speech and action he previously risked everything to travel to namibia yet again at a time when conference call would have suffered would have would have been sufficient i think that he should have done a zoom or team meeting instead of an expensive escape if the president thinks you can simply speak of going to see your friend during COVID 19 times he must know he's normalizing visits to friends this unless trips i think this useless trips of his cost a lot of money at it at a time he is unable to secure funds to produce COVID-19 vaccine for short for millions of people. Million people. Okay. President Masisi should spend time at home working on the vaccination schedule. It was embarrassing the other day when he spoke of vaccin vaccinating the whole population. You do not vaccinate the whole population, Mr. President. Research shows that we need to vaccinate between 50 and 80 percent of population to create an effective barrier for the virus to be contained. Stop speaking like a prevailer out for not the out of for a point for a pint with friends. Okay, you are a president, and what you say matters. President Masisi is the great for presidential norm and educates he makes him one term president this recklessness recklessness hmm, is an embarrassment to the nation and must not return to office in 2024 talk talk just to talk and talk please sanitize use mask stay home when you can and do your very best to social distance we are on our, on our own okay bpf communications okay that was that you guys <sighs> okay what i what do i feel by the president going to namibia at this time guys i feel like it was in it was important for him to go like i said last time the first thing you say uh, people would take it in the wrong direction you get my point but i believe that people should if he could have said clearly what he's going to do in namibia not necessarily including the friendship thing because yes like he said people will say you know president then if he can go to namibia for friendship you get my point so i feel like yes it, he did i think he did i don't know I don't know the right word to use but at the end of the day i think yeah people shifted that to that you get my point but anyway go ahead comment below let me know what you're thinking about the whole situation and the whole situation about bank silly the whole situation yeah bpf president masses i don't know what you're thinking about the whole that but at the end of the day thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram i'll see you guys in my next upload but i'm sure tomorrow i'll be here very early you guys because it's saturday and yeah sunday you guys if i'm not in tomorrow you guys should know that sunday read the story time so yeah yeah sunday is the story time you guys know that right yes so yeah let's go ahead and comment below i will see you guys in my next upload i love you so much do take care of yourselves i'll see you in my next upload bye